the first thing that comes to my mind is that I would um, like to define um, what we mean by negotiation when we use this word. Um, if we talk about negotiation in the comments, I would say it's not a negotiation meant as gaining advantage over another person, but it's obviously coming to an agreement, crafting outcomes, which um, at its best serve both um, collective and individual interests. So, if we frame the idea of negotiation um, that way, we could think about commenting as an everyday negotiation process without, and I think this is important, without professional uh, negotiators, simply with people like you and me. And this everyday negotiation process, which perhaps we could call the comments as an ongoing process of conversation rather than negotiation, right, takes place in very different formal and informal settings. It is important to state that there is no professional negotiator, so there are different interests, there is hierarchy within the comments, etc., but not between those who have the money and those who haven't, those who have the pro professional skills and those who haven't, those who know how to deal with conflicts and those who can't. There is, in a way, a level, level playing field within the comments. But obviously there are different interests which lead to conflicts. We will deal with that later. And a second important um, thing is that there is no external, there cannot be, so to say, external arbitration unless it is asked for by the commoners. So when I think about negotiation in the commons, First of all, I would think about an ongoing conversation pro process to craft collective outcomes everybody can live with. And this is part of an ongoing decision-making process in self-organization situations, which obviously has its ups and downs. So, negotiation comes in in situation where really decision making happens. For instance, when a community establishes rules, when these rules have to be monitored, or when a community has to deal with conflicts, because as I said, there are different interests, there are hierarchies within the commons, there are problems. The commons, remember, is a drama, but not a tragedy. So, I would say that um, if you refer to the principles um, of commons institutions as defined by Elinor Ostrom and her team, that a commons is about establishing rules, self-monitoring, um, easy accessible arena of conflict, um, mediation, etc. In all those situations, negotiation is key. But this refers to negotiation within a given commons. There are also negotiations um, towards the outside, the environment. Because first of all, commons overlap. Remember that each commons is also somebody else's commons. If we share land as a collective, this land still belongs to the earth, which belongs to mankind. So there are conflicts within the commons, there are conflicts between commons, and there are conflicts between different levels of commons, local, regional or global. And there might be conflicts, of course, between a commons and the authorities, being it 
local, regional or national. And in those moments as well, negotiation is key.